In this video, I'm gonna show how we do local SEO citations for our self-storage uh, local SEO clients. So I'm gonna walk through the, the different tools we use and a couple different methods that you can use to build your own citations. So citations uh, are still an important factor of, of local SEO. And it's something I like to clean up early on for clients um, and do this kind of work really the first month of doing an audit of their citations and then figuring out wh what we have to do. For some people, that means they've never done it and we need to do an initial build out. Others have done it before and there's issues with their citations. What people typically talk about are name, address, phone number as being the most important thing. I really like looking at that and also making sure we have as much content on these different directories and citations as possible. So photos, video ideally, and they're fully built out. But um, there's a few different methods you can use. There's some automatic tools like SE ranking that will automatically push your business information onto a bunch of the main citation sites. Um, there's other ones as well, like Yext is a popular one, uh, Whitespark, there's a few different ones that do that. Um, there's also tools like Bright Local that we'll cover, which have a citation builder where they'll go and manually build you citations. And then another one I like is called uh, LoganX, and, that, and they have a few different uh, packages that we'll cover. Uh, and these are really the three main tools I use. For clients, there's way more than just this. If you search uh, citation building or something along those lines on Google, you'll find uh, a lot of different options. But uh, what I like about SE Ranking, when you go to their local marketing tool and then go to business listings, here's where we're going to get our main uh, citation building report. I'm going to see how many are found, uh, how many are correct, how many of the important citations are not found, which means I need to build new ones, and then which ones have errors. So right away in this left menu, I can figure out exactly what I need to do to improve. I need to build some new ones and I need to clean up some that are, are wrong. Um, then you can see more of a NAT breakdown. It looks like the URL is the biggest mismatch. Uh, the name is accurate on all 21 citations, which is good. The address is incorrect on five and then the phone number is accurate. So really I need to clean up the address and then I need to look into the URL on why that's different. So right away I have a, a pretty good game plan here. I really like this auto sync here. If you hover over this, it'll kind of explain it, but essentially, um, this is going to do a lot of the citation work for you, which is awesome because citation building really is tedious and it takes a lot of time. So if we look at, um, the tool here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the found citations and here we could see the ones that were found. Um, and right away in this account, I just ran this report for the video, but we can start to see, yeah, some of these are just syncing. You'll see the ones that are updating, um, listed here. Here we could see the errors. So these are the citations that have the errors with the address. And then over here, we could actually look at the individual citations. So if we want to look at this one here on yellow pages, we just click here and then click open. And then now we're going to load the actual citation profile. And I could see and kind of look through to see what the errors might be. So really good way to stay organized and do this efficiently. So um, that's kind of the, the main uh, feature I use here. And again, you can click on mistakes and now it's just gonna show me the ones that have errors. And on the, again, on the right, here's the errors. I can go to not found. And these are gonna be ones I'm gonna to wanna to look closer at and make sure I'm listed here. If I'm not, I can go manually to these websites and build the citation. Uh, you'll see this will take you right to the website if it's relevant. Now, as far as uh, some other tools. So if you use a tool like Bright Local, they'll have a similar report where they have their citation uh, tracker here that'll tell me a similar thing. How many are found or not found? Which ones have errors? I can scroll down here. This is a different uh, profile since I don't have that business on here, but here's the citations. I can see the address, some of the details, and then we can see the ones that we don't have that are blank. So this is a, just an easy way, again, to see which ones we have. And these are key citations. So Bright Local has what they're kind of designating as more important citations. So if you're only going to do a little bit, that's where I would start. And if we go to live citations, these will be all the citations that are available. I think they ran this campaign yeah, in early 2024. So you can see the new citations that were built. And then here is everything. Now, they have a citation builder where if you don't want to do this work yourself, you can pay Bright Local to do it. So SE ranking has this sync and the feature that'll just automatically push you onto some of these directories. The way it works with Bright Local is you can purchase a year subscription to these data aggregators, which push your business info out uh, to a lot of directories. And you could also purchase individual citations. 
So you'll see here uh, for this one that we ordered 50 citations and we can see exactly which ones we ordered. So you can sort of select the ones you want in Bright Local um, and then uh, you can continue to purchase more through here. So typically uh, for new clients, I'll, I'll set up the data aggregators and I'll do some orders of individual citations on top of that. Um, but that's kind of how they, they do it inside of Bright Local. Now, one other thing I like in Bright Local when evaluating how, much, how many citations to do is in the Google Business Profile Audit. So in here, I can see my competitors and then how many citations each one has and then what percentage of key citations, which is a good indication how competitive it's gonna be. We can see a lot of citations and a lot of high priority ones. So we're probably gonna to need to do some of this work to also get into the top three. So that's kind of the main way I use uh, Bright Local. And it's really all preference between these different platforms. Now, LoganX is another one that you can place orders with. So they have a, a really good citation audit, which is a really good client deliverable, or even a lead magnet. It's only $7. And you could send this uh, to prospects or leads or even to existing clients. If you upgrade it, you'll get the citation gap report, which is actually a really nice report that'll show um, what com citations competitors have that you don't, which is a good way to make the case for citation building if you can highlight what competitors are doing. So only $49, really good one-off kind of thing to deliver to clients. Um, then you get into their citation building packages. So they have a few different options. Uh, I'm not gonna cover all of these, but you can kind of see the differences. They list out what they do, how many citations you get. Um, they also do photo and video and social citations. They do have a fast turnaround. I've used them tons of times. So I know they deliver this quickly. And if you just want like a la carte one-offs, they have this smaller package of 10 citations. Um, they also have a cleanup. I don't typically use the cleanup service, but I've heard pretty good things about it. So it is another option, um, which is more comprehensive. Again, they give it, what I like about this is they give samples so you can see exactly what they're doing, what the file looks like. Um, I tend to use their citation audit and then sometimes I'll use them for citation building as well. Um, the other option is kind of the, the old method of just going manual. And you can make a list of all the different directories and citations out there, and you can go one by one and just claim them individually for clients. Uh, I recommend to use tools like this. It's just easier, it's faster, uh, especially these that, tools like SE Ranking that have the auto syncing to just get the citations over with. So you could really start focusing on more impactful things. Um, so that's really it for today. I think there's a lot of different options for citation building. It's still an important factor of local SEO. We still do it for all clients and it's something we typically do very early in the campaign. So then we could shift our focus more to content backlinks and some of the things that are gonna move the needle more. So, um, so that's it. If there's any other questions or anyone has any other good citation methods, just leave a comment below.